hello everyone and welcome to the orthodox techie channel again so today we are going to see how to create a Louis uh, account and how to create a chat but using Louis as of now the last session we saw how to create a chat but using console chat connector as well as uh, using uh, emulator right so today we are going to see how to create a chat but using Louis how to consume the cognitive services Microsoft cognitive services uh, to perform the NLP kind of operation NLP means called uh, natural language processing okay so to do that processes let me start with the Louis account first okay so this is how the Louis URL you can uh, simply type the Louis.ai here I'm going to log in mm, I'm going to log in my email ID no Harry 92 oh, it doesn't work mm. already signed in you mind signed in this account okay oh my god sorry sign out and sign with different account yeah so this is the Lewis dashboard you can see here uh, Lewis app as well let me go to the cognitive services portal okay uh, before that my apps language understands so you can see here right you can uh, see your outlook email id or uh, you can uh, you can see your gmail id over here whatever the email id or uh, you signed s signed in your si signed in this account right you can see that id here as well as that one default directly uh, unique key is assigned to your ID account go to app so you can see here language understanding as well as my apps menu so click on my apps menu so here where we are going to create uh, like models and we are going to train our models so as of now we didn't create any apps over here so what we are going to do here we are going to be create a mini app okay we are going to be create a mini app to uh, configure all your intent occurrence and entity let me explain what is mean by intent occurrence and entities so these are all the process that you have to configure uh, to the prediction level to create your prediction model or trained model that AI model okay so I'm going you can you can find here a new app for conversation right by clicking on this button you can easily create a new app with a name called whatever the whatever the app name you would like to go for it for example I'm going with the movie ticket right now and and, and I prefer the language called English okay and the description you can uh, give whatever the description you would like to go for it okay and create app completed you can see that message over here close that message and that is one dialog window is up here and uh, this dialog window will uh, remind you what is the process to uh, ca carry forward to the next okay so design your schema first and build your model and improve your app okay so these are the process you are going to do in the next process let me close this okay we are in the movie ticket app right now version 0 0.1 that we created uh, just before and you can uh, see here there is a lot of menu options over here one is dashboard mm, you can see what what kind of the prediction intent uh, with the prediction errors and accuracy endpoints of hits per day so those things and all you can see here training evaluation overall predictions so those kind of the information you can see in this dashboard and build you can configure your intent entities and pre-built domains 
and if you want to improve your app performance you can uh, uh, review the endpoint utterance as well and a lot of features available and pattern is also available if you want to enable any pattern for the intent yes you can go for it okay and the manage thing is there so manage thing is nothing but the app details because you have to given your app key id app id as well as your uh, publish settings okay so after it publish this one if you create any internet uh, in utterances or entities inside the app right you have to publish that app uh, okay and after that you have to get all the published settings and that settings is going to be configured on your code and you can find out the primary key of the uh, resources azure resources we have to be uh, note, noted down and this this is main important and endpoint url is also there just make a note of these points because we are going to use these uh, informations in our coding session so without this kind of references without this kind of primary key endpoint and you can see here that example uh, url of the query so these are all very important points so just make a note of it and version and we can see here version 0.1 so same here we can 0.1 collaborates things and you can see train if you uh, create any uh, uh, kind of configurations or any kind of the prediction model if you are trying to create any kind of the AI model so you have to train your model first and publish so once you trained your model and after testing your model so if you find like your model is being uh, more accuracy it's a 99 percent accuracy and you'll go for it and publish your model as well so this the this this is the process that we uh, actually followed in the lewis okay let's see let me create one intent for you so i'm not going to confuse uh, too much today so i'm going to show you how to create an intent and utterance two things we are going to see okay because there is a lot of process you have to follow if i uh, show you or if i show uh, teach you everything in one session yeah. uh, some people may have to may be confused on that right so i'm not going to do that today i'm going to show you how to create an intent okay so we are in the build dashboard next to the dashboard we are in the build go to the intent so we can find an option called create click on create I'm going to create an intent called greet intent is nothing but the motive motive of action because greet is the motive okay it's a greeting normally when you start up uh, st when you try to start with some other start a conversation with some other someone's right so you have to be generally start with the greetings so same way we are going to start with uh, uh, our chat uh, connector or the chat conversations with the greetings so that's why i create a greet over here so how, how what are the uh, um, what are what are the type what are the types of text we used for greet right so that is called utterance because some people are uh, say hi some people are say hello some people are say hey how are you some people are say howdy so those kind of the uh, different kind of wordings and different kind of uh, uh, approaches of text text right so those text analysis calls uh, like call utterance so I'm going to click the grid and I'm going to give a multiple like utterances for grid for example I'm going to give hi just click enter hello just click enter howdy click enter hey enter let's see how much how many is there it's one two three four right so I'm I just gave uh, hey howdy hello hi okay 
so these are the different variety of textures okay these are the different variety of text that we used for greet i think you understand what is mean by utterance so these are all utterance hey howdy hello and hi are all utterance and these all words it's point to one action called greet so that's called intent so the motive of the speech is intent and the variety and the way of uh, speech is called utterance so i'm going to try in this very simple you can click here click that training button and you can sit back and relaxed prediction is loaded okay so we are going to test before publish it we have you have to be test whether uh, that utterance are pointing out the accuracy or not you can see here like 97 97 97 97 all that so it shows like 97 percent of accuracy let's see how it works I'm going to test that we can see here in that uh, placeholder type a test of utterance I'm going to test my utterance call hi uh, yeah you can see when I typing hi it says like greet is your intent and 97% of accuracy hello again greet is an intent and 97% of accuracy hey howdy simple it's very simple so we are ready to go with the greet right now so if any people's like giving hi hello how are you or howdy so you can configure how many utterances right so what are the way of utterances if you would like to find and you can uh, configure manually or either or either you can uh, uh, run your prediction model or you can run your uh, set of uh, words for the greet alone and put that greet into the Lewis model as well so we can do it whatever way you would like to go for it okay hope you all understand what is meant by intent and what is meant by utterance and how to train that intent and utterance and how to test your uh, uh, utterance right and how to test your accuracy as well so we'll catch up on the next session I hope uh, uh, we'll cover the entities and we'll cover the in, uh, intent utterance entity all together and finally we'll go move on to the coding session thank you keep watching and don't forget to subscribe thank you